<laughs> right, hi everyone. Now, I'm just playing, as I do, and I thought you can come along and watch because <laughs> that's what I like to do is to play. Now, I did this brooch the other day. I will come back and show you how to do it again properly because uh, it was um, kept going out of sight on the camera. But I've just made this one and they're just from bits and pieces, literally from bits and pieces. So I just made the tassel and then added some bling, some pearls, made a flower centre to start with, this was off an earring. But look what I've ended up with. And you, it's, it's not like you can buy them like this. This was a piece of jewellery, it was an earring. These are the flat um, beads. In fact, I'll put those out because I'm going to need them. Uh, that was part of a, um, a brooch and a, more of those. And then had the dangles on. So what I'm going to do is just share with you, oh this one, this was an old fashioned earring, vintage earring, uh, again part of an earring that was a flower in it, two of these had broken off, so I've put it on top of that and then these were part of earrings, oops sorry, I knew that needed to go back on, I need to put it on with um, glossy accents so that it sticks, to be honest, but I've just put it on like that for now which I will go back and do it properly that way mate that's it hooks on so yeah added a bit of lace because you can do them anyhow now um, I've made this one just hand stitched all the pearls on using again some of those with a big pearl in the middle and then hand stitched some little pearls which were those this one's just done from one big bling in the middle, then some diamante trim, pearl trim, pearl and diamante trim going around there. But I'm going to end, uh, add to that. That's trying something out. I'm going to have something dangling from there. And then this was an old vintage um, earring. And I've just put a row of those. So that's the one I'm going to do first because I found this in my bling box. So the chain's already there. And we're going to have a the chain dangling down. So what I do is, when I get my pliers, I've just got a small little um, non-stick mat there. You don't need big ones, just use small ones. So what I'm going to do is cut the chain off from where, because that's it's attached there. So I need to have it like that. So I've already got two dangles there. I'm going to attach that so I, all I do is I put a blob of glue on you can go back and fill it all in later on stick that onto it put this where I want it so I'm going to have that slotting in between those two diamantes like that so I'm going to go to the next one cut that off and that one, I think this was a belt of some sort <clears throat> or a funny necklace <laughs> don't waste these bits because they always come in handy somewhere else so like I say now I can see the glue here so I'm going to use the tip of the glue gun just to warm that up again and then add a little bit more glue then add that part of the chain there see how it all looks like it fits in together just to heat that up again with the tip add a bit of glue and then we add that part of the chain so it just looks like it's all one like that and i think i'm going to put another one here because i want it to be glamorous and because they just cut them apart. Let me just see if I uh, like that. No, it doesn't it doesn't look right. So what I'm gonna do 
because they take that bit off like, and we keep them bits because they'll come in handy somewhere else turn this around pop a little bit of glue there and then we just pop on that so like I say it looks like it's always been part of it now I'm not worried about any of the glue anywhere else because we can um, oh look at that now I want to stagger these slightly what do you think I might just cut those off there and there and they can be used somewhere else that's it I, now that's perfect for me in fact it's I'm going to take one of these off on oops that's another one on the floor like that that's better I like that but do I like that now what I've got here is some pearl chain this is the we don't have this in the shop at the moment I'm just sent for some more so and I just want to do it up and bling it up a little bit more so I like the pearl chain I think we need to cut that off there okay I need to get myself some more actually so what we can do is <clears throat> I'm just going to put a dab of glue here just to hold this on now I'm going to heat up that bit there and start and add the pearl bling now that has to lay flat just continue wrapping it around push that in like that like I say we're not worrying and fussing about any of this at all I need to bring that out a little bit and push that in there that's fine by me yeah I like that that's pretty isn't it yeah I don't worry about any of this because we can sort that out afterwards but from just the earring adding some bling adding some pearl hmm I like that and that will go anywhere so what I do then is once it's dried see how the back of it's like that and then I will go around the edge making sure we've got all of this attached pop that back on press that down and then let that dry and straight away I've made myself do you know what I'm going to put something else on it I like to add bits on mine so let's have a look I usually use the broken bits of jewellery you know we've got all kinds of bits and pieces oh I mean look at that just adding that and then we can add some pearls just hey, look see how that's broken but I can attach it Or even that one. Not quite what I'm looking for, but there's all kinds you can do. 
look at these some of these are absolutely stunning and i'm going to use them in my projects oh now that's vintage that look at that i just love doing what i can with these bits we've got that one there's another one of the oh a bit of that a bow and gold oh there's another one there let's continue to have a look see what we've got Oh, I've got another one of those, look. I wonder if I can find one more. If I can find one more of them, there's another one of those fans that I had on that. Sorry about the noise, but um, I've got quite a bit. I've got that that I can go through and have a look at. A bit of chain, look at this. That's in the wrong box. Huh, so is that. I know it's going to go off. It's. Oh, I'm going to put that on something, surely. Oh, look. It's just all kinds you can do. Right, hang on now, because uh, I can't find what I'm looking for. But I know I've got another one of those somewhere. Hmm. Got it. There we go. Sorry about all of that. Uh, hopefully the camera will stay put. Um, I just knew I had this. Now, wait a minute. That's, get that straight a minute, Fee. I need to take that off. That's what's wrong with it. Got it, found it. Put it in there. One of the diamantes came out. Now that's slightly different. But I'm going to put... I just love that piece. See, like that. I thought it was going to be like that. Yes just it has to go <laughs> now, I'm not fussed about anything at the moment so we just put that on there I can glue it all in later with um, glossy accents or something like that this is just to pin it down onto the mat so I finish designing what I want I think we've lined that up with that. That's lovely. I mean, from one earring to this. Now, I'm going to put some of these. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use the small or the large. So we'll get both out. I actually think we need both. I'm just going to put the glue on and then I attach that to there with that one next to it. See? Just gorgeous. You have to really play around with what you have. Now, go to your car boots this year. I'm sure everything will be on. 
pick up it doesn't matter what the jewelry is just get as much jewelry as you can that's that you like you do have to say that you like it right see i love that i think that's gorgeous and let me just see i think i can put this in here That's too big, but we've got smaller ones that can fit in there. Let me just take that one out, put that in there. There's a smaller one again. It just makes that bit of difference. Now, let's just see. And I think I can squeeze one in there. That's it, it just makes that difference. Oops. Like that vintage jewellery <laughs> and we've made it I think what I'm going to do yeah I like that it's just looks a little bit bare on this side I'm just using the little pearls to even that up, that look. That's it. Yep, I'm happy with that. And then what we have to do is to make sure that when we peel it off carefully, you see that's come off, so that's not ready. It's not attached. You have to attach it to all the other bits. That's it. And when that's ready, you see, and then we unpeel that. I'm just waiting for that bit to dry. Love that. Um, when that's dry, we just peel that off. And then we make sure it's all the gaps are filled in. Sorry, my glue gun's just running out. Oh, sort of. I spend more time bumming, buggering about, bumming about, <laughs> buggering about this bloody glue gun. Right, let's get going. So, you start to move it along like that. You fill all the gaps. Just go over those so that they're completely covered. Make sure all this is done. See how that's dropped off. Don't worry, don't panic, don't worry about anything. I've just done that. And we're just going to put this back on. It's got to attach itself, you see. So if they don't attach, that's it. Once they're done, they're quite sturdy. And when they're on the project, they're not going to come off anyway. Move that in. Like that. And leave that to dry. But like I say, that's quite pretty. Another one done. So... I've got glue all over me. We'll leave that to dry properly. Um, I'm going to do... I want this one next, I think. I'll just get another bit of mat. Where's my mat in? Here we are. It's an old PC. I just cut them off me. It'll do. 
So I'm going to glue this one down just on the edge like that. Now, let's have a look. See what we've got. I like that. But I don't like it. <laughs> um, do I want it that way though? Nope. Okay, okay. Let's put some dangle trim on this one. Now we can use that as the middle because that will slot into there. So what I'm going to do is take that off, pop that back on so that that is the bottom section for me. And then slot that into position. Now drag it down, push it in like that. And I think we're going to put one there. I'm going to put a pearl one in, I think. Now, do I want a large pearl or a small pearl? I think we'll go for the larger one. We think, we think, we think. Let me just see. Yeah, I'm going to go for the larger one. So we have to put the glue there. Jut that up to the diamante. And we've got that. We think... I've got enough of this one. Mm, yep, yeah, I have. I'm now going to put some either side. That fits in there. I'm, I'll cut this. And that will fit in there. So I'm going to cut that here, three, six, eight, Th uh, three, six, eight, that's there. Now I'm going to take these pearls, these are my favourite ones. We do have these in the shop. That's going to jut up against that. I'm going to have this one jutting up against here. Like that. See? They just look so pretty. And... Let me just see... I'm not sure whether I want to do that. No. No. Let's go back and put some... Let me just see. I have, oops! All different things that I can use. And I've got different... Here. What's these? I've got some little pearls. The little diamante pearl. The beautiful little flowers. And we've got a large one there. So, let's just have a look. And it's just a great way to decorate and make your own fancy bling. And why not? So. Like that. Yeah. 
Now, let me just turn this around. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Beauty, beauty, beautiful. Now, a small one of those. Now, if the camera cuts out, um, it's because I'm going to melt that glue there. Um, I'll have to go into a part two, I think. Don't worry about all your strands. Oops, a daisy. Now, I need that to fit in there. I'm going to force that a little bit. Like that. And we'll move this one up. So I'm going to put another one in there like that anything that's not glued down I can glue down that's not a problem you just have to build now, two teardrops but not enough space to actually um, put another bling bit in so what I'm going to do is just to pin that in there because I don't like the gap but that's great because I can like that and I've basically just built my own bling for a project and you can't buy them like this you just can't now I'm going to let that dry let's have a look what have we done and oh, this one should be dry now I'm just going to pop that one on the over there okay yeah we've got this gone yeah it's done and anything that's um, in the way, you just trim off. Buy yourself some pointed scissors. Now, we do usually sell these, but we have sold out. So, I'm just going to clear the space before the camera goes out. So you can see what I've done in making my own there's the flowered one there's oh, that's the pearly bit, uh, bracelet then that one and we just peel this back we do have to sort it out making sure everything's glued together now what you can do is to pop on a, um, let me just put this on here because otherwise it won't come off. You just pop on a, um, like that. What am I going to say? You pop on some felt. Sorry, I'm miles away. That's the way it'll be when it's sort of their level. That's that. Look at those. All made from bits of this and bits of that. Even that's hand made. Can't beat it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.